Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and if you're like me, you've been playing a lot of Bomb Rush Cyberfunk lately. With this comes a desire to 100% the game, which, with tons of post-game content, can be honestly quite difficult. In today's video, I'm going to showcase a guide to navigating the maze on Pyramid Island. This is part of the post-game content, and I thought it was pretty cool, and this should help you not get horribly lost in it. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. Let me start by first showing off this image. This is a map of the maze. The way this map works is that each node is oriented around the front of the maze. Meaning if you take a right, then taking a second right would be demonstrated on the map as a downward exit from a node. I did it this way because there are a lot of different ways to enter a lot of different rooms. So if I made it so that way the entrance of each room was just forward, it would get really confusing really fast. The nodes are color based based off clusters of nodes that lead to each other. I figured doing this to help people easily eyeball what routes they should take to get to the desired room of choice. The rooms are nicknamed based off of vague things that I see in the room and like kind of dynamics in the room. And when I go through the entire guide, I'll explain each name. But if you're someone who doesn't want me to walk you through each step, this map should be enough to navigate the pyramid. But for those who will need the extra help or are just bad at navigation, do not worry, I got you. Alrighty, so first thing first, you're going to have to head over to this area on Pyramid Island where there's an old head, and you're going to have to get 200 rep. To get that rep, you're just going to have to go around, do a bunch of graffiti. Once you've done so, you're going to be able to talk to this old head, and they're going to let you past their little blockade they've set up. The dialogue the old head has is pretty interesting, but for this case of this guide, it's not too integral. Here there are three options. Going straight doesn't do anything, it leads you to the exit. So instead, you can take left or right. Right ha is going to be demarked on the map as green areas, while left is a lot more other stuff. Going to the right, you first get this room here. This room has two exits, one graffiti, and it also has a penguin. To get to the penguin, you're going to have to jump on the white boxes that are on the left side of the room, jumping up here and then next to this trash can is the penguin, which you can take a picture of. There's also the graffiti, which is very obvious on the back wall. Next, you're going to want to take the left exit here because that's going to continue your progress forward. This enters you into a room I think I called the sky room because you can see upwards towards the sky. There is one big graffiti straight ahead of you that you can easily grab if you so want. I mean, you're going to need it for the wrap. From here, there is a tower of vending machines. You're going to need to climb this tower, which can be a little difficult. As shown here, I kind of messed it up, but it's not that hard. Jumping to the top, though, is another graffiti spot that you really should hit for the rep. We can then exit out of the opposite direction from which we came, which is going to lead back to the beginning. Yeah, so now we're going to have to take a left route with, next to this penguin, which make sure you grab a screenshot. This leads to a room that I have labeled the drop room. I've labeled it this because there's a giant drop at the start of it, and yeah, I felt that was a, a good way to name it. So there's a quick graffiti you can grab in this room just by jumping on top of these little jump pads and, you know, having some decent skills at aiming yourself, and you'll be able to grab this graffiti. The room we want is from the right to the entrance, and this is the ramen room. Going left, by the way, will take you back to the right route, so don't take that route. Here, you, I have named this room Ramen Room because it looks like there's a small ramen shop to the side. There are also a bunch of game consoles in this room, as well as other things that are just kind of interesting to look at. Like This kind of looks like a Splatoon thingy, and I'm not too sure what game this was in reference to, but it's pretty cool to look at, and it's just overall cool situation. There's also this uh, trash can on the side that I got horrendously distracted by trying to use to jump on top of this platform. It is possible to do, but there is zero reason to do this. It's just its just something that like my singular brain cell that I possess decided would be a great idea. So, from here, we can take either a right or go forward. You're going to want to go forward. Going right will just lead you back to the right room, which honestly there's no reason for you to go to at this point. This will lead you to the pit room. Pit room's name so because there's a giant pit in the center. This pit is pretty interesting, has some pretty cool stuff, and it's actually where a way to view into old Amsterdam. Um, but I'll show that off at the end of the video. For now, let's continue touring this area. 
first let's grab this easy graffiti that's right here it's a nice little wrap nice little bit of wrap also there is a giant poly sta uh, penguin statue uh, just grab it with the screenshot for the achievement so very it's kind of hard to aim and what i did for the in order to get the camera to be able to capture the penguin is i used the jump pad in the back of the room i don't know if you all are going to have the same issue as me of trying to get this picture but if you do just that's what i did and that's what worked from the pit let's first go forward from the entrance and this will lead to a new room that i have called blue tower because the room is blue and there's a tower there's another penguin for you to screenshot here and two graffiti spots for you to hit Taking a right in this room will lead you to a familiar room from earlier. It's actually the ramen room and the top half of it. Here you can nab another graffiti, which will net you some more rep. Next, head back to the tower room and then head back to the pit from the tower room. From here, you're going to want to take a left. This is going to lead to a room I call the blue room. This room is interesting with a center raised platform and two graffiti spots for you to grab. So there is also something I noticed about this room that if you're a keen observer, you will see there is a collectible in the center of the room on the top of this weird platform thing. And for all I can tell, it is not possible to traditionally reach this item. I could be wrong. There could be some method that you can use using this umbrella by jumping on top of it that could be possible but honestly i don't think it's possible to conventionally get to the top of this my evidence for this uh, argument that i don't think it's possible to conventionally get there is what you get if you actually collect this item you can if you have cheats enabled such as unity explorer manually control a player and bring the player up to that level if you do this then you will notice that when you collect it you're going to collect Winter Vinyl. Winter Vinyl is unlocked elsewhere. You don't need to come here to unlock Winter Vinyl. Um, so th this isn't necessary to my knowledge. I don't think this is actually supposed to be something you actually get your hands on. I could be wrong. I also tried attacking this little thing to see if it's like a teleport thingy, but it, it's not to my knowledge. It, it didn't do anything. Um, regardless, your next move is to make a right from entrance. Doing this will lead you to this long corridor, which is the beginning of the end of this maze. This long corridor I've named the Devil's Room because it kind of looks like making a deal with this penguin. By the way, you're going to want a screenshot with this penguin required for the achievement. Also on the floor are a bunch of newspapers, which I zoomed in on to see if we could get a better look at them. I can't really make heads or tails of anything it says on there. It looks like new skateboards or new star skates, or it seems like it also has a, the player character on it. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe some of y'all in the comments will be able to read this. But we can actually move on from this room and get to the end of the maze. Back on the surface and out of this woods of maze of boxes and whatever, we get one last giant graffiti extra large on the back wall before a pipe. You're going to want to hit this graffiti because it's a lot of work to get back here. But jumping back through the pipe is going to take you all the way to the entrance, which really ends our tour. However, I do want to show off New Amsterdam, so I'm quickly going to do that. Alrighty, so back at the pit room, we're going to need to jump down the pit, which is the only route we didn't take from here, in order to get to Old Amsterdam. You fall for a while through sand and ruined buildings and other stuff before seeing a small little city area, or not even really a city area, it's just one building, that has been submerged beneath the sand, beneath the waves. We know that the old city of Old Amsterdam sunk at some point long before our time, during the Old Head's time, and this is a little look into that. I think it's pretty cool from a lore perspective, and it's just nice to be able to get a glimpse of this. There is a larger area where we can look into Old Amsterdam, but that is pretty far away and not really connected to the pyramid. So yeah, I just thought this was cool, and uh, hopefully you all enjoyed my guide into how to navigate the pyramid maze and find this area of Old Amsterdam. Uh, I found myself a decent bit lost while navigating it myself, and there were some resources online, but not a lot of very good ones. So I felt like, hey, might as well make the resource that I wish I had while navigating this place. Uh, if you like, make sure to like, subscribe, drop any comments if you have any things you want to say. Uh, if you'd like to speak to me on a more regular basis, I have a Discord linked in my description, and I'm pretty active there. But this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time.